so we can um, um, have this. I can I can send this to you. Okay. To the class. Now tell me, what do you think? What do you know about a vision? What is a vision? It's what the vision is the part of what you see it becoming. Good. What is a mission? The mission is what's going to help you get there. Okay, we'll take that for now. What is the strategy? Is the um the I guess you would call it the procedures and the um what you have in place to get you to the to the um goal. You're trying. I can't tell you that. You, you're definitely trying. What is the goal? The steps. That's the word I want. The steps that you're putting in place to help you get to the goal. So what is the goal? <sighs> How can I explain the goal? Uh, you're going to be loving this it's tonight. <laughs> to tell me, finish this. You're going to know what all of these are. And goal these is are the most is, important is what you want your outcome to be. Okay, we'll take that for now. And what is an objective? Oh. <laughs> um, let's see. Objective. My objective is. Oh, my objective. And I'm loving this because when we finish this class right here, I'm going to send this video to you, and you're going to say, "Hey." That's what I thought the strategy was. That's <laughs> what I thought the mission was. You're going to say, okay, now I know. And as many times as I've had this in my training, uh, the words can't even come to me now. Well, this is going to be a refresher more or less for you because you have that background. This is going to be a refresher into the non-popper world because the vision and mission differ from, let's say, the full popper world. The non-popper world is totally different. That being said, let's move. Okay. So what you have here is the outline. Don't worry about knowing everything now. Then you're going to send all this to me. The whole thing. Everything okay. we do tonight is going to be sent to you. Okay. So when we're talking about mission, we're talking about the means to doing something. Mission, essentially, is the course of action. And the course of action is a strategy and a tactic. When we're talking about vision, we're talking about the desired result. And we do this by defining our goals and our objective. Don't worry about trying to consume all this stuff right now by the end of class you would have come back and said now nah, i know what that i know what that food is talking about <laughs> let's move now read to me what a vision is your vision is your dream it's what your organization believes are the ideal conditions for your community that is how things would look if the issue important to you were completely, perfectly addressed, it might be a world without a war or a community in which all people are treated as equals, regardless of gender or racial background. So Whatever you, you, okay. Yeah, you are right. Uh, the vision talks about the future. The way you want things to look when you're finished. Tell me a person that had a great vision and he was a male. He was a man. Martin Luther King had a great Dr. vision. King. Mama Dr. King vision was a world where people were judged by the contents of their character and not the not way by the color. Now, when he said that, he was talking about the world he wanted to see. Right. And that's what a vision statement is. This is what we expect to happen once we're finished. So far, so good? Yes. Okay, now let's go to some examples. Take 
Do me a favor and read the materials that you have in front of you. Say that. Read the materials that you have in front of you. There are certain characteristics that most vision statements have in common. In general, vision statements should be understood and shared by members of the community, broad enough to include a diverse variety of local perspectives, inspiring and uplifting to everyone involved in your effort, easy to communicate. For example, they are generally short enough to fit on a t-shirt. Here are some examples of vision statements that meet the above criteria. Care and community, healthy children, self, safe streets, safe neighborhoods, every house a home, education for all, peace on earth. Now, have you come up with a vision statement? Yes. Let's see what you got. Okay. Oh my gosh. It won't fit. <laughs> it won't fit all the t-shirts. Oh no, a vision statement has to be. Our okay. work would be to reduce it down. Okay, I'm going to read what I have. Yeah, go ahead and read what you have, because that gives me a perspective on what to work with. The happy scholars will work with children living in areas which may be impacted daily with hunger, instability, and insecurities. Along with that, many of them struggle with academics, behavior issues, and emotional delays. That's not a rigid. Oh, but that's you know, what we that's what we call um that's what we call a, a strategy. A vision is what's gonna happen when you finish. What okay. happens to hold, the kids? Hold up, hold up one minute, because I do have something on my brochure that may be okay. what you're looking for. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Happy scholars, happy future. So something like that. No. No. What the what is the problem? Tell me what is the problem that you're trying to solve? to okay to impact the lives of of the uh, children okay and why and what why do you want to impact their lives so that they can be more productive citizens or that would be the vision a world where young people are more productive citizens that's the future that's what we mean by vision. The vision talked about what happens when you finish providing all your services. What does the world look like? Okay, so say that again. What would it be? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I'm taping this, right? <laughs> I'm glad you are too. Yeah, I'm so glad I'm taping this. Let me kind of uh, go back. Well, a world where students will be more proficient and thus okay. be to, and thus be able to have a successful life students more proficient and will have a successful life but i'm going to play with that some more okay this will be called first draft because now this is the first time i heard the true vision now i can i can i can i can now play with it so that when people hear bam they are already oh. saying, we want to give money to this person. Okay. Okay, let's move forward. Let's talk about a mission. The next piece of now the we puzzle. Talked about, we talked about the vision. That's the future. Let's talk about the mission. So read for me the mission. 
The next piece of the puzzle is to ground your vision in practical terms. This is where developing a mission statement, the next step in the action planning process comes in. An organization mission statement describes what the group is going to do and why it's going to do that. For example, promoting care and caring at the end of life through coalitions and advocacy. Mission statements are similar to vision statements in that they too look at the big picture. However, they are more concrete and they are definitely more action oriented than vision statements. Your vision statement should inspire people to dream. Your mission statement should inspire them to action. Okay, visions is your dream. Mission is your action. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I want to, you're going to get this whole video. Everything. Oh, okay. The whole video. Other than that, yeah. you can say, Mike, yeah. hold on, I got to write this down. I got to write this down. That's why I do video. So when we go, when you go back, you can see exactly. Okay. Now awesome. what I have the for the mission statement, the program will provide educational, emotional, social, and environment entrepreneurship support to children. Our That's mission the- is raising children to be happy, healthy, and productive individuals. Okay, that sounds more like your your vision. When you say, what, what is that again? So, the program. Would you tell about them again? The program will provide educational, emotional, social, and entrepreneurship support to children. Our mission is raising children to be happy, healthy, and productive individuals. That's part of your vision as well. That's part. But we're going to work on that uh, mission statement. The okay. mission talks about what you plan. Uh, to do so we're going to work on that okay so this is more of the vision yeah right so don't worry about it when you when we finish right you're going to say okay i'm bad Uh, (laughs) i'm bad and more importantly you're going to say my money was an investment okay investment means when you put in money you get more from it so you position yourself like you get your own salary and everything like that based on your investment to learn. Okay. Okay, let's move forward. Here are some examples of effective mission statements. Read for me some of those examples. Promoting child health and development through a comprehensive family and community initiative to create a thriving African-American community through development of jobs, education, housing, and cultural pride to develop a safe and healthy neighborhood through collaborative planning, community action and policy advocacy, promoting community health and development by connecting people, ideas and resources. This is the mission of the community toolbox. Now notice how that mission begins to talk about the bigger picture, how you plan to bring about what you're gonna do. Like Mm -hmm. for example, the first issue is dealing with health. And they say, what do we plan to do? Well, we're going to promote health and development and development through a comprehensive health initiative. Okay. A safe community to develop a safe and healthy neighborhood where collaborative planning, community action, and policy and policy advocate. Okay. Don't even worry about not being able to sink in everything because a lot of this stuff is new information to you. But I guarantee you, once you start to digest it, you're going to be awesome. Well, you're already awesome, but you're going to be even more awesome. <laughs> okay. Now, we talk about the vision. We talk about the mission. And now we're going to talk about goals. What are goals? Let's get started. A goal is a broad statement of what you wish to accomplish. A goal is really about the final impact or outcome that you wish to bring about. Yes. And let's see. And I have provide support services to help children rise above their adversities. That's a goal. Yeah. Adversities. Yes, that's a goal. 
Okay. So you do, I had, girl. It, I had I, it written as the purpose, but purpose and goal are really the same thing. No, purpose and goal is totally different. Okay. The goal is how you're going to do it, and the purpose is why you do it. Okay. So I, what I had as the purpose is actually the goal. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. Now, the goal is why. Is that what you said? The goal is why? Yeah. The, the, the goal purpose. talks about the what, the how you plan to do it. Now, okay. for, give me an example. Read what how? example goal number one is. Okay. Wait a minute. Goal is how. Purpose is why. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Um. Go to the program goals. Goals should specify the results from program services and be in terms that are smarter. Okay, that is specific, measurable, acceptable to those working to achieve the goals, realistic, timely, extending the capacities of those working to achieve the goals and rewarding for them as well. Example, program one goal, support at least 600 dropouts from it. Okay, now I have some of that done. Good. Okay, let me good. See a okay. goal, a, a program goal begins to give more picture. What does it do? It tells how many, it tells what, and it tells what you Ooh, plan to I have it so to tiny. Do. Okay, I have here the first one. At least 20 students, grades K through five, will have additional access to after school academics. Create after okay. school. Okay. And okay. Then now, what's going to happen because of that? Okay. Does that mean they're going to move to a second, a, 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 a new grade level, or what does what what comes as a result of that? Hold on. Now read that to me again, so I can try to put something there. Okay. At least twenty students, grades K through five will have additional access to after-school academics. And then you want to add on, thus improving their grade level. Okay. Something you want to show what's going to happen because of it. So something okay. from at the end. And I did put down, okay, I'll just tell you some of the things that I had put in there. So maybe okay. I don't have everything that I need. Okay. Um, I put who was going to be responsible. Uh, data would be reviewed on two dates, a mid-review and a final review. Okay, that, what you're saying now, is what we call the logic model. Okay. So we'll get to that at some point uh, related to your breakdown. That's called a logic model. Okay, all right. So don't worry about it. You're going to learn so many things. When I tell you you're going to learn so many things, at the end of the day, you're going to say, I be penny I spent as well worth it. In fact, you're going to be bragging about me to other people. Okay. That's how I get most of my clientele through referrals. Someone take my class and I say, no, nah, I got a best friend. I definitely want my best friend to have what I have. You know? Okay, that being said, let's move on. Another example of goal. Each goal will have one or more performance measures. Additionally, each goal will have one or more strategies stating how the goal will be accomplished. Okay. Now, when we get into lesson four, five, we're going to talk about how do we use performance measures, how do we create it in order to show what we're doing is what we need to do. Okay. Tonight, we're going to talk about what a strategy is. So we're going to talk about beginning with the strategy on how to accomplish things. Okay, let's move on. Here is an example of a goal. That's, that's my that's my home, Baltimore. That's my home too. Oh, I didn't know. That. What kind of Baltimore? Well, actually, I'm from the Eastern Shore. Oh, okay. Maryland. I went to uh, I mean, um, 
small town called Preston. As you go through Easton, everybody go through oh, Easton. Oh, okay, it's, cool. I'm like eight miles out of Easton. Yeah. I went to uh, University of Maryland, Eastern Shore. Yeah, I went to the University of Maryland College Park, and I went, uh, no, I went to the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Okay, okay. Yeah, Baltimore County. Straight out of uh, Baltimore, West Side. All right. <laughs> okay, let's read that again. Okay, an example of a goal, decrease the degree of malnutrition among young children in the southwest region of Baltimore. Notice they talk about what they want to do. Decrease. Decrease uh, malnutrition. They talk about who they want to do it for, young children, and they talk about where they want to do it. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Okay. I want to get a picture of that. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Program goals, a broad future oriented statement of the desired. Goal statements identify the specific target, target group and provide the what information as distinct or how the Goal will be achieved or when it will come about. The overall goal of the district program is to reach, reduce the number of former uh, scoring on two and continue to increase the level of academic achievement over time. Okay. <clears throat> Read um, the example. The, <clears throat> the overall goal of the district's program is to reduce the number of former ELL scoring level two on FCAT and continue to increase their level of academic achievement over time. Notice how they specifically talk about what they plan to do and what are their outcomes are going to be. So a goal has to be consistent uh, with that. Okay. Ready? Yes. Now, we talked about vision. We talked about mission. And we talked about goals. Now, let's talk about strategies. The approach you will take. The broad approaches you are going to take in order to achieve the goal. Strategies and plan of action, method, process, or specific step taken to accomplish goal, strategic plan, or an objective in a compact. They indicate how results will be achieved. Each goal and objective will have one or more strategies. Okay, let's stop there and move to the next section. Let's talk about some strategies. Training programs to drop out from school, provide free transportation to enrollees in the program, provide subsidized child care. The program strategy is the means or broad approach by which a program will achieve its goals. Okay, so as you can see, when they talk about the strategy, they talk about how they plan to do it. Well, they, they got a problem with people that have dropped out of school. So what do they plan to do? Well, they can apply GED training. They also know that a lot of people are going to have problems because they don't have transportation. Right. So they can provide free transportation. They also know 
uh, a lot of the people are going to be family, so they don't have no daycare. So they also are going to be providing subsidized daycare for them as well. The strategy is how you plan to do it. Okay? Yes. Right. Let's keep going. We don't need to read that. Yeah, read this one. A strategy is a plan of action, method, process, or specific step taken to accomplish a goal in a strategic plan or an objective in a compact. They indicate how results will be achieved. Each goal and objective will have one or more strategies. Again, each goal and objective is going to have at least one strategy. Okay, so we've gone over what a vision is what a mission is what a goal is and what a strategy is now let's talk about what is an objective specify the outcome of your project the end products they are tangible Objective should be and make sure you talk about the different types of objectives. One, I write in this when I need to take a picture. I write too slow. I'm telling okay. you, you're going to get this the whole video. <laughs> I know. You're going to get I... yourself. You're going to say, "Oh, Mike, what Mike was saying, he videoed the whole thing." <laughs> No, no, the second time we do this, you're going to be okay. This time you're going to say, no, nah, I, I want to get this. And then when I send you this, you're going to say, for all preacher class, I ain't got to worry about it. Because <laughs> everything we did is being recorded. Okay. A few types of objection, behavior, performance, process, and product. Yeah, I, I know. when you get this information, I want you to be able to break down. If, if your focus is on behavioral, performance, process, uh, put up or combination of all three. So you'll get an opportunity to, to assess this when you get this uh, presentation. Okay, Doc, what are objectives when they break it down? All objectives, smart, measurable, attainable, achievable, relevant, and time. Right? All objectives to be specific, measurable, measurable Attainable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. OK, let's continue. OK, this week, what would they mean by Pacific? The first line. What exactly are we going to do or whom? Talk about what it, they mean by measurable. Quanti quantifiable and can we measure it? When we get to the section on evaluation, we're gonna be talking about two types of data collection. One is called quantitative, and, and the other is called qualitative. Qualitative. Right, and they both fall under soft and hard data. In fact, you also can say empirical versus anecdotal. So all that stuff we're gonna learn about when we get to evaluation. Let's continue. Attainable, what do they mean by attainable? Can we get it done in the proposed time frame with the resources and support we have available? One of the things that nonprofits run into in terms of problems is that what they want to do is so big that it's not attainable because they don't have the resources to do it. Right. For example, if a nonprofit say, we plan to bring on one staff person and we're going to train 3,000 students. Well, that's not enough resources. It's not, right. not attainable. So you must match the attainability with the resources. OK, let's continue. And finally. Will this objective have an effect on the desired goal or strategy? Well, let's let's talk about this. You want to uh, focus on helping young kids between age eight and nine. But yet, when you look at your objective, 
you teach your senior citizen how to jump rope. So it's not relevant right. to what your goals and objectives are. That makes sense? Right, yes. Okay, let's continue. Time bound, when will this objective be accomplished? Okay. I have to give it a time frame. So we got back off. Let's see where we are now. And we're talking about smart objectives. Let me see, did we go? No. Now that screen, I haven't seen that screen. Yeah, we stopped here. Yeah, I think we were on this one. Okay, and I think we did finish this up to talk about um, smart objectives. Right. Uh, do me a favor, read an example of a smart objective. Where is it considered an example? By February the 15th, 2006, increased by four the number of community health centers in Florida that have incorporated into the clinic system electronic medical records with reminders of treatment protocols. The indicator is the number of the community health centers in Florida that have incorporated electronic medical records with reminders of treatment protocols into the clinic system. A performance measure is the amount of change or progress achieved toward a specific goal or objective. Smart objectives can serve as your performance measures because they provide the specific information needed to identify expected results. Okay, so we know there's a lot in there. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, we know they're telling you when it's going to happen, mm -hmm. what they plan to do it, and how they plan to do it. Okay. Now, related to performance measures, that's part of the evaluation. Okay. So when we deal with that section on evaluation, that's going to come back. You're going to say, oh, that's right. That's what a performance measurement is. Okay. okay. Let's continue. An objective is See, a... Yeah, read all the way to the last uh, sentence. An objective is an integral part of a compact objective state the specific outcomes that you expect to accomplish in support of a priority. An objective has a completion time frame of two years or less. Each priority will have one or more objectives. Each objective will have one or more one or more objectives and goals are also what's not housed, but they are smaller than a mission. Goals so are objectives. Um, objectives is, is is what and not how. Okay. okay. That doesn't make sense yet, but when you did get this, this is going to make sense to you. That goals and objectives um, also the what and not the how. The how is the strategy. Okay, let's continue. Managers the how. And objectives are what? Uh, objectives and goals, goals are what? Are the what? And uh, um, the uh, the uh, strategy is the, is the how you plan to do it. Okay. Okay, let's continue. This is an example of a template when you're okay. writing your goals and your, uh, I mean, your objective. For example, the first thing you want to put by whatever date that is, when, whatever that is, the who and the what, and then the measurements and percents. Okay. So when you get this, look at this right here because it's going to make sense. Now, talk some more about two general types of objectives. 
Two general types of objectives are process and outcome. Process objectives focus on the activities to be completed in a specific time frame. Process specific activities to be completed in a specific time. And we want to, uh, at the next, next session, next okay. session, we'll go really deep into what they mean process versus outcome. What's the process versus an outcome? Okay, let's continue on. No, read this right here example. By June 30th, 2026, provide training for 20 community health center administrators in the use of electronic medical records. They, they talk about the when, they talk about the what, and they talk about the who. Okay, let's continue on. This, we don't have to go all through this right here. You can look at this when you get your, at your leisure right here, but you should know that there are three types of objectives. One is short term. The next is your immediate objective. And then finally is your long term objective. Let's move on. That, that continues to break down what immediate and short term objectives are. And you can read this at your leisure. Now, I'm going to send you two things. I'm going to send you this video, and I'm also going to send you the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. So you'll have both. Okay, they continue to talk about objectives. Um, talk about objectives related to the who. The who is who's gone to do what, when, and to what extent. This is not making sense to you now, but don't worry about it. Because you first didn't introduce you to this. But I promise you, by uh, lesson two, when we come back with as a repressor course, you will know all of this. And you're going to appreciate it. Because you're going to say, man, I'm, I'm learning things that are new and I'm adding on the things that I know. And that's when you're going to start to say, oh, we're going to be able to do this. I understand how this stuff works. <laughs> okay, let's continue on. Here's some examples that I want you to be starting with uh, program goal, program strategy, objective, and activity for program strategy one. Starting with program goal to read down. Starting with this. Program goal to decrease risk behaviors associated with HIV infection among students within the school district. So that's the goal you want to decrease right. risk factor. And then the strategy, first strategy, form a community partnership that advocates for HIV prevention education in the schools. Good. And then your objective by February 28, 2009, convene four meetings of a new community partnership group for HIV prevention education in the school. Activity, create criteria for identifying partnership members, recruit the members, convene the meeting, and document the meetings. Now notice, they went from the goal, goal to, to strategy, the strategy to, use, to and to the objective, objective and then eventually to the activity. This okay. stuff is actually going to start to make sense to you when, when as we move forward. Okay. Now, this is the end of this class. In every class that I give, at the end, I'm going to ask you two things that you learned. <laughs> so always, every class, so as we take, always write, write your stuff down, because you say, I know Mike going to ask me <laughs> two things. But no, it clarified for me. That's why I was writing it down, that the vision is your dream. Good. The mission is the action. Good. Excellent. 
your strategies are how excellent and your objective and goals are the what yeah it just breaks down even more and so it just the strategy is a big picture this is what we're going to do we're going to bring the chemical community leaders teachers and everything like that and then your your objective breaks down well we're going to actually uh, work with 30 students to do A, B, C, and D. It's going to make sense. It's going to really make sense. Don't worry about it. I'm going to send you this right here, which is a video. And I'm also going to send you the PowerPoint presentation. Now, okay. what I want you to do is to make a folder up. And that folder should be entitled uh, Training. That way, every time we give a class, you can drop it into that one folder and you keep abreast of all your lessons and all your plans. Okay. Sounds like a plan? Yes, sir. Excellent. Excellent. So let's what will your schedule look like? What do you want to meet again? Soon. Excellent. Like, That's what I'm talking about. Like the first part of the week, let me see. Okay, let me.